Yeah, I got some bad news for you. Sorry. Yes. Oh crap. That's okay, I know. You do? Then what are you doing? I have the work uh, must be done today since my son can no longer work. It's like, uh, it's like this here too, huh? Forget about your work or better yet, think about tending to your son as a task for the day. Very well, I'll go to work. Now get started, bring me some fire. What? what, you intend to burn your child? That's right, that's how you do it. I don't understand. Would be more a uh, formal funeral pr 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 uh, procession be more appropriate? I'm sorry, have I done something wrong? Tell me, do we have no custom uh, where relatives of the deceased may say their final farewells? Now really, how could we um, then and up until recently are people too busy toiling, toiling away uh, to think about uh, burial rites? Among Renans, it's customary to relatives to send their remains out of the, uh, hem into the heavens, but not introduce such a practice into Denon. We believe that uh, in doing so, the sea spirits shall join the flow of actual energy in the travels, uh, uh, travels the cosmos. We could never do something like that. It's the uh, last chance uh, to, uh, for the uh, bereaved brave to see their loved ones. Surely, some uh, things should be done in honor, uh, to honor their memories. But that's is part of everyday life for us, Dennis. You really think we're going to ship bodies into space uh, somehow every single day? I simply felt that something more um, more to be done. When the Renan still rules over us, we don't have even have uh, have it for uh, which. What, hold on, we didn't even know it was safe to build gra uh, gra grave sites. Our bodies can uh, decompose; they become uh, spread disease. We didn't have any uh, other choice um, in how we would bear, uh, bury our people. Ringwell, don't think. Don't think for a second I've forgotten everything that Renan did to us. Tell me, often do you know why now we have last names like them? Let me tell you why. It's because our, um, uh, we outnumber them and they uh, denied us our culture and stop us from uh, uniting against them. Enough. Your people steal so much from us, and uh, and this is on and on top of that, you have the ghosts to try and make us live like you too. If you hate the here so much, why don't you just uh, turn them into hollow? I. That's enough. No more. Legnus could strike at any time. Here we are fighting amongst ourselves, and we're all well aware of the uh, the suffering and hatred we uh, which harbor. But, uh, but we're going to con uh, coexist and we have to recognize each other's differences. Hmm. That's when we are working together to achieve, bring an end to this whole system and begin our lives uh, side by side. Uh, th that's what I believe and that's why I'm here. And when you think differently, then be, uh, to be my guest and leave. I'll break down every single barrier even if I have to do it alone. Indeed. I sincerely apologize and consider that you have a true friend. But it would appear that I have yet to reckon, uh, reckon our people's dark history in the earnest. Meanwhile, I uh, completely accept the, uh, the blame in all this. Words cannot express how very sorry I am and clearly offended you so deeply. I am sorry for lashing out at you so harshly as I did. Don't believe him. I guess I'm still worked uh, through a lot of emotions. I know you're the only thinking about the, uh, what's best uh, for her son, too. Meanwhile, I'd like you to teach me about the culture and history of this planet. Perhaps that would help us begin to bridge the gaps. Uh -huh. huh? Sure, I don't mind. Uh, could you maybe teach me about Rena too, then please? You two are more alike than you, re uh, than you realize sometimes. I'm glad you were able to uh, patch things up. We lost enough of the good people among, uh, along the way as it is. Uh -huh. uh, sorry for the direction. Let's uh, lay your son to rest. We'll do uh, the den anyway. Yes. That was a long dialogue. 
<coughs> so thank you, thank you for granting me the task. The maintenance is the least we could do for your, uh, for you as his mom. Well, because of you, my, my son is at peace now. Rest assured, we intend to build the future of this world that we could make him proud. That little speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alvin. If you call letting your emotions get the better of you impressive, sure. It made them stop fighting with each other, right? However you managed it, you knocked some sense into Rinwell and Dohalim, and that mother. Yeah. I can see my decision to travel with you was well made. Where are we going next? I can't I can't walk up. What? Alright, where are we going next? In. Got it. I think we've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long term aid than we can. Right, we still can teleport. Oh, we have new quests now, too. It's only in... It's only here. Magasar. Okay. Thank you for all your hard work. You're free to rest here if you like. Can I please leave this round now? What? What's happening? Like this is coming down, huh? It's literally a giant space station. To Rena and Lenigus. It looks like Lenigus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, our own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? 
I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion. Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Corps are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Everyone in the guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif too. You saw her, right, Xion? Xion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the lords for the Renan top brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Heros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. Alright, letting us is uh, cyber It's Cybertron now. Oops. I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenigus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on, we don't have much time. <sighs> Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... <sighs> Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding. So we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way... Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. 
You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, La. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, when that thing dropped on the Lennigans, uh, the, the sound, my oh my, I thought the models were collapsing. I'm trying to find a way out of the other run. Can't say I ever heard about any uh, anything we know about anything like that. We we'll have uh, had the uh, hunker down in this. Um, uh, how down in Silesium? Is that how that crossed? Uh, you're trying to get to the other realms, which are the sturdy boats as much as you can. Wait, I take that back. Remember when the elders recently started talking a little, mentioned something? Apparently, back in the day, there used to be a way to get through, uh, Four land mountains, but not anymore. We shouldn't have, uh, have been. Where are these four land mountains exactly? Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the lofty marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again. Okay, more quests. Got it. Two more quests, all right. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I think there's someone in... No way. Notio, is that you? You're finally home? What? Forgive me, I do not believe we are the wrong person. My name is Dokulim, and it happens, I'm new to this area. Oh, you one who drove, uh, drove out of the Zugos. I'm so sorry, my mistake. For now, it appears there's something troubling you, however. Uh, there's not too much to ask. Would you mind telling me a little about this uh, Notio fellow of yours? I, I can't, I... It's hard to discuss, as you can see, about the roving band of mischiefs. Uh, you know, uh, we see much or more trouble, so uh, we don't shock her easily. Well, in that case, my name is uh, Kagri. Notio is my lover, uh, only he's a Renan. I see, I understand why you were hesitating then. I take it something happened to him. I mean, how several months ago we used to meet in secret out in the village, but ever since then he hasn't returned. He sounded completely normal last time. Though I don't uh, know what's going on, oh, Natio, uh, whatever might happen to you. Anyway, he works in the Guardian Pelagio. I'm afraid he might have, well. Stay calm, there will be a number of reasons why he hasn't returned. At any rate, your story intrigues me. I feel personally invested now. We shall investigate it ourselves and get to the bottom of it. Really? You'll do that for me? Gladly, leave this matter to us. For now, we shall make your way to Pelagio and re records. Uh, any records we find there should tell us just where he went. Good idea. Which that? We shall be on our way. Which luck? We should have good news before sure. long. Yes, thank you. I wanted to hope. I can see why you feel that way. I suppose. 